the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Green Bay Packers and the Los Angeles Rams. And it comes your way next. From the second largest city in the U.S., Los Angeles, California, we've got football as EA Sports coverage of the NFL is on the air. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the Los Angeles Rams. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. SoFi Stadium. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. Leading the charge at quarterback, the former Georgia Bulldog, Matthew Stafford. And Matthew Stafford was taken first overall in the 2009 draft, and he certainly played like a top pick. Throughout his career, he's been one of the most prolific passers in the league, and there's no reason to believe he's going to slow down his production anytime soon. Not only that, he's also one of the tougher quarterbacks in the league as well. They begin the drive with Williams, and he's going to be down at the 35, gain of seven. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. On second down, here's Stafford. They'll get this one complete to Atwell. An early test, two plays in, this is third and two. They'll try and run for it, here's Williams. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. It was just third down and short, but he bit off a little extra. <laughs> I would say way more than he could chew, but he chewed up all that yardage in a big way. And that, to me, that was a combination of offensive line, stacked defense, and they handled it. Okay, they got the leverage, they got the blocking angles, and opened up a nice crease. And once you get past that first wave, there's room to run. And that's just the third play from scrimmage. They wanted to avoid that three and out, they did. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Stafford now to throw. Right back to Atwell, that's complete. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And the top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get. Packer pressure, and down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Now that's a heck of a moment for your first sack of the game because if this long drive ends without a touchdown because of that sack, 
we're going to look back and say that might be one of the biggest plays of this contest. So now Stafford and the Rams after the sack. Now they're staring up at a third and long. Out of the gun now on third down. And that's going to be incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. So on fourth down, on is Ethan Evans to punt for the Rams. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. Six foot four inch Jordan Love taking the field for the first time. The 2020 first round pick from Utah State set to lead Green Bay. And at the start of Jordan Love's NFL career, he had one of the best seats in the stadium watching Aaron Rodgers work. But now he's looking for more than that. Rocket arm, big play potential. And he wants to show this organization that he's capable of being a dependable starter for the foreseeable future. Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at about the 32. They'll try and start this drive in the air. A short throw to Musgrave. Two yards on the pickup there, and that'll bring up second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. From the 33, here's a second and eight. to throw now. Here's Love. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Love. They go play action now. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And the Rams are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. So they take a decent shot, CD, and the flag comes out for pass interference. Yeah, a little DPI, as they like to call it in the business, right? And the farther you get downfield, the more frenetic things get and the more calm and controlled you have to remain as a defender. That was a little bit of a slip there, and the penalty will go against him. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Packer first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. From the 31, here's the second down at six. Counter play with Jacobs. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. The 25-yard line is what they need here. This is third down. Love looking to throw it. He finds his man complete. It's Jacobs. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. So off goes Love, on is Carlson for the Packer field goal. From the right hash, it's a 46-yard attempt. And he missed it. He missed it just wide. If that left upright, it's no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. Looked like you might have overcompensated there for being on the right hash because you've got to make sure you get the angle right. But that time he started it too far left and winds up hooking it way too far. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. 
Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and ten. So good field position for the Rams as they come up first and ten at their 36-yard line. From the gun, here's Stafford. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. Making that play on the pass rush, that's Devontae Wyatt. But when you see a quarterback retreating away from the line of scrimmage toward the other goal line like that, usually doesn't end well. You're exactly right about that. Normally, if they're moving from side to side, they've got a chance maybe to get back upfield. He was trying to shake defenders and extend the play, but it doesn't work out very well for them at all. You need those extra yards on the other side of the line of scrimmage. Now you're digging a hole for your offense. Here's Stafford now on second down. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. They should have got more out of that, though. He was wide open. I love how emphatic you are with that call because that's exactly what I was thinking. Wide open in the flat. Give him a ball that he can use to get upfield with, not just catch and go over the sideline. They cost themselves some yardage there. Screen play set up for Williams. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. Well, the good thing about covering any game I do with you is I know that there's no problem with rhythm. Now, what we're watching offensively, a little bit of a problem there. Yeah, punt on the first drive, looking at another one here. Just a little slow. And, you know, they, they were talking about a fast start, but that hasn't been the case. Yeah, and let's face it. Any team we cover always talks about a That's fast true. start. That's true. But it's not necessarily going to happen just because they say so and whether it's the script whether it's you know just what they're going through whether they're seeing different defenses they're gonna have to figure it out as this game moves on loving the Packers now with a first and 10 at their own 21 now love he has it complete to Christian Watson. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it's second down. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that'll pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mouse trap. That's hard to do because you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards it. But what so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw it through contact and short of the sticks. Love with it here, third and short yardage. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking to throw to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field. And a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. And that'll be a free five yards for the offense. Just like a tennis match, that's just an unforced error. Stay alert, don't jump early, and give them free yardage. So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. In motion left goes a tight end. Jacob's going to try the middle. And he's going to be met at about the 43. It's a gain of three, and it sets him up with second and just two yards to go. Not a whole lot there after the penalty, but remember, it was first and five, not first and ten. So now they can keep grinding out first downs, and good things can happen for them. Just second and short coming up. From the 43, here's second down and two. Once again, it's Jacobs. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. 
Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Here's Jacobs on first and ten. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Throwing. Love. That is throw is incomplete. Well, certainly appears that they're going to try and keep getting him the football. It's the third time they've looked in this direction. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from him. They feel like they've got something there, and they want to capitalize on it. I think you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities ahead. On third down, Love. And he's caught. He's got the first down and more. Touchdown, Packers. A great play there, 35 yards. And the Packers are on the board first on the road here in L.A. And there they got him the ball, just get it to him, let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call, just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rack, right, R.A.C.? Run after catch, and he loves that, and he's going to carry that in at contract time. Carlson's extra point up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. So that one, an eight-play drive. It spans 75 yards. And it ends with a Packers touchdown. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. Now the Rams offense getting the football back. They've had it twice. They punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, Everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 24. He'll hand this to Williams to start things out. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Pass complete there to Nakua. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. Hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now a give up the middle to Williams. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great. Because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. Meanwhile, Stafford's throw pulled in by Atwell here. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. A 
yard all they need, but it's third down. Throwing is Stafford. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 36. The defense surrenders a 13-yard pass play there on third and one. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Now a first down throw, Stafford. That's complete to Williams out of the backfield. So the completion gets him just a yard, and it'll be second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. From the 35, here's the second and nine. Stafford. That'll be caught by Cup. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 19. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. From the red zone now, Stafford. A quick throw there he is incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Here's second and ten. Again, it's Stafford. Open man is Higby, the tight end. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Here's third and three. A shotgun snap for Stafford. He's got his target. That's complete. And the Rams are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. They'll try and run. This is Williams. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown Rams. Kyron Williams taking it in from seven yards away. And the Rams are an extra point away from drawing level. Sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the seven, eight, nine yard line and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need so maybe we can have two or three shots at going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. Point after, right down the middle. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do And the ball comes out. Love lost it. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And great field position coming up in the red zone at the 17-yard line. Every week we hear talk about create turnovers, create turnovers. In particular, they wanted to force some fumbles. They got one right there. And it shows you how the game has changed over time. It used to be good enough for a guy to get a sack of a quarterback in the pocket. Now, if you come to the sidelines and you didn't knock the ball free, 
your coaches are upset with you. All right, so if you're a quarterback, it starts all the way back in the youth leagues. Take care of the ball, take care of the ball, take care of the ball, because here come the defenders. They come up with exactly one minute to go in this first quarter. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. 40 yards rushing for him now to this point. A quick burst there and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. This second and four. Now Stafford. And the slide pattern here complete. And the Rams are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. A carry here for the big tight end. And he'll be taken down here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. These two teams all tied after one. The Rams with the football here to begin the second quarter. As they come up now second and goal. Williams will score. Touchdown, L.A. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. Point after try forthcoming. He's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that drive, four plays. And it was capped off by the Kyron Williams touchdown run. kickoff team on the field and here we go with the ball in the air and he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line and Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field that 7 nothing lead of theirs short lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by 7 yeah but no cause for discouragement here yeah they've fallen behind but haven't they proven that they can go down and score so what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they get this game tied up. Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at their own 26. He'll give it to Jacobs to start the drive. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Nice chunky yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second and six. Here's Love. Throw left side complete. That's Reed. Only able to gain a couple there. And now we've got a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Love now. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he's going to have a Packers first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. A handoff. Jacobs running to the left. And able to break one tackle, but 
but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Love now on second down. He finds his man complete. It's Reed. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. First down, love to pass. Yeah, to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, right. and escape this drive. Now a second and ten. To throw now, here's Love. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. The offense on third down, they've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and ten. On play action, love to throw. He'll buy some time right. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. But nowhere to throw it, decided to scramble, and a nice job, CD. Got the yardage that he needed. Yeah, and his teammates are certainly going to appreciate that effort, even if his coaches don't, because they would have wanted him to slide and protect himself. But he chose team gain over personal protection. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. Just a gain of a couple there. And it's second down. And that's a good job there by the corner. And we do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. To pass, here's Jordan Love. Same target, it's Jacobs again. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. 13 yards, first down Packers. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. Love's throw finds its target, Dobbs. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. 50 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. We often give credit to the O-line there. Two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. Jacobs is in. Touchdown, Packers. So he had the nice run to get him down there, was stopped just short of the goal line, but they go right back to him, CD, and he delivers to finish the drive off. A little extra determination there, don't you think, partner? You notice he didn't tap on his helmet and say, get me out after the run down to the end zone. He said, I almost got in. I'm going to get in on my own. I'm staying in, and he carries it across the goal line. Carlson on for the extra point. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And it was capped off by a touchdown run from Josh Jacobs.
This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. A pretty nice work defensively there on the first down run as they hold him to a gain of a couple. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Williams going to get it again on second down. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. Sometimes I forget how much information he has to go through before the ball's even snapped. But what a diagnosis right there. Saw the play, shot through the gap like a rocket, and ends up spilling it for a loss. Throwing on third down, Stafford. And a find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. is incomplete here. Timing's crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. Stafford now to throw. Throws left side, Atwell's got him. They get six, that'll leave them with third and four. Now Stafford. He overshot him. It's incomplete. A little bit of finger pointing and heavy discussion going on in the defensive backfield. It's man coverage, but they leave a guy wide open. They've got to be counting their lucky stars that this ball was overthrown. Ethan Evans on now to punt. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And no return on this one as that kicks out of bounds, so they'll start just outside of their own 30-yard line. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. On second down, Jacobs. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 61 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. That was good tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. 
Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. Here's a second and five. They will run out of the gun with Jacobs. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. 13 yards, first down Packers. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong, right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right at them and right up the middle. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Love now to pass on first down. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Back to the running game with Jacobs. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Now Love. They swing that out wide to Jacobs. And the Packers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. The four receivers said here on third down, they're going to spread the field and make you play sideline to sideline, make you defend every blade of grass. Good spacing there offensively as they get the completion and the first down. Throwing. Love. Got Dobbs over the middle. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you want to here without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. Okay, the Packers on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. This is third and goal. Love. And that is incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. Can this defense hold them out? Here we go now. Fourth and goal from the two. They go with Jacobs. And he'll take this one in for a Packer touchdown. Josh Jacobs with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Packers' decision to go for it pays off with six points. So fourth and goal, their head coach gave that offensive line one more chance to punch it in, and this time they were successful. They certainly paid off the coach's confidence, didn't they? And how about the fact that they stayed with the ground game? Because a lot of times in that situation, partner, we see teams try and roll the quarterback out, give him a little run-pass option, and treat it like a two-point conversion play. In this case, they went with a little bit more power and got it done.
Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. L.A. readies for its next possession. They'll look for a drive to tie this up, down 21-14 as they have it first and 10. They start to drive on the ground. It's Williams. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. He came out ready to play. That's three tackles for a loss, Charles. We're only in the second quarter. And that's problematic for the guys trying to run offense because that means he's got a pretty good idea of what they're doing and is actually beating them to the point of attack and making those plays. Might have to think about some misdirection or something to try and get him away from the ball. So give him two yards there on the completion, and that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air, and sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Not much going on this drive. Looks like they're going to have to punt it away, CD. And right now, I know a lot of their fans are screaming for the OC to change things up, get away from what he's been calling. Sometimes you just need better execution of the plays that have been called. Here's Ethan Evans now. Oh, this is off the side of his foot. So it sails out of bounds close to midfield, and they'll say actually right at midfield. Here comes the offense again, and let's focus on Josh Jacobs for a moment. Good returns on the last drive. He hit the end zone for the second time. Good returns in this first half, really. Yeah, good returns for his team. Really good returns for the guy. And you know where I'm fantasy. going. Darn right. Those fantasy guys who have him on their team, they're rejoicing right now, and they have a high expectation that what they've seen already There's will continue. More. You yes. talk about fantasy a lot, but you don't, why don't you just play? You don't, I'm not good enough to play the fantasy it. game. Stop I enjoy watching you. You're an analyst. You're an expert. I mean, you were a champ last year. Keep it up. Fifth place. Okay. Well, that's a champ in my book. 99 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Love, they go play action now. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. Second and ten. Love looking to throw it. It's a screen pass. That's complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. Jordan Love ready on first down here. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. Loss of 10 as multiple defenders get to him. Remember, they had the nice gain on the previous play, but they just gave a lot of it back right there on that sack. Yeah, they get the sack, get back some real estate. Felt like the type of play that could spark a defense and swing some momentum. Almost felt like a take that type of a play, didn't it, partner? So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. That's complete to Dobbs. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts. 
as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So here's a third and 14. Working out of the gun. Love. He's got his target. That's complete. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Love from the gun. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And the Rams are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. CD, when he went to throw that, I'm not sure if he just didn't see where the defense was or whatever the case, not the throw you're looking for on first and goal. Not at all, because, look, let's face it, that close to the goal line, if you throw an interception, it's going to hurt on any down. But really, the only down you can kind of live with is if you do it on fourth down. The first three, if you don't have it wide open, just get rid of it. Make sure they can't get it and live to fight another down. First and goal, and you throw the pick, not good at all. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and ten. After the interception, here's Stafford. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes in bounds. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case, the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. The Rams gonna go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Throwing is Stafford. Open man, Higby, the tight end. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end, a guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills, you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. Stafford's throw, it's complete into the hands of Higby. Now he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. I don't care what sport you're playing, everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. On second down, Williams. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. A final shot before the break, Stafford. He's going to throw one up for the end zone. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman.